strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is loving danger Your heart is bound to break I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf Hello guys, welcome back. Let's continue to Cap de Roca on this relatively easy off-road track. That cliff back there, I've been there many times, but I never turned right on into this off-road we are now. But I always wanted to follow it to see where it leads. So today is that day. So far so good, it's an easy off-track. A few rocks, but no problem. So, how does the TRK-X behave on these type, types of off-road? My opinion from a noob on these types of road. <laughs> it feels good, but like I said last video, it also feels more demanding on the rider. What I mean by that? Well, on my previous bike, the road version TRK, I kind of cheated when off-roading, when the terrain got bad. I would slow down to a crawl and advance the bad terrain with both my feet working as anchors. Well, like I'm doing now on these bad, bad rocks. I, haven't, I don't have the guts to go speedy on these types of roads. I'm afraid of damaging the bike or even crashing. The X is taller, uh, so it's not that easy to do that anymore. I mean, stopping and putting the legs down. Also, since it is taller, it wants to tip over when you turn the, the steering bar to a higher angle, especially if you have a full fuel tank. So, speed is the call here. The faster, the better. To keep that centrifugal forces on the wheels rolling. <laughs> well, everyone knows that. The more I ride the X off-road, the more I like it. The suspension is softer, but it doesn't bottom out. Well, I'm not jumping it either, so... <laughs> I'm kind of a lighter rider at 72 kilograms and 1 meter and 80 tall. So, so it feels very nice when standing up on the bike as well. In front of us is the... It's Sintra. Serra de Sintra. Those hills are also great to ride. This part is much much easier. The Metzeler Torrance tires are nice to start on them, but the Carew Street I'm using now are even better on the off-road. And on the tarmac they are even much better. I totally recommend them. Or an alternative, if you want to go more technical trails, you can opt for the Pirelli Scorpion STR or even more a true 50-50 tire, the meters E7 or E7 Plus. I'm trying to go away from the rocks, especially on the edge of the of this road. So we have a downhill, it's full of rocks. My ABS is on, so I'm gonna turn it off. You don't need to turn off the bike to turn off the ABS, but <laughs> I did it anyway. Because if you turn off the ABS and then you turn off the bike and on again, the ABS will be on once more. So I'm going to tippy toe really slow on these rocks the GoPro doesn't capture the the rocks but the, they are really nasty for my skill anyways <laughs> slow nice and easy you know me No problem so far. 
better sit than sorry. <laughs> In these situations, the, the good bikes are those 250s, like the one, the CRF. It will eat these rocks like for breakfast. <laughs> okay, so, obstacle done, turning right here, and let's pick up the speed. Since the TRK gearing is very short, I can use second gear for the much part of the way, that's nice, even for a noob like me. Like I said before, I'm not an off-road rider, but I like to do it if it is the only way to get to a beautiful place, like we did in last episode on that cliff back there. Is the TRKX a go-anywhere bike? Yes, kinda, but do not forget its huge weight. So like this we are starting an uphill, no problem, not many rocks here so it's okay. Like I was saying it's an heavy bike so we need to take that in account when doing these off-road trails. I'm gonna stop here for a bit. these days to ride a motorcycle it's not too cold it's, f it's fresh it's sunny it feels really good much better than in the summer with all that hot weather nice I'm gonna take a picture been a while since I took pictures. <laughs> On this crossroad. Here we go. So I'm not flying with the, my Sparky at the moment because I have only one battery left and I'm going to use it when we get to our destination, that hidden beach I was talking about. I have a charger to my better drone batteries but uh, I didn't bring it because I usually use the tank bag for that. I have changed the original Benelli 12 USB charger to another one with a button and it's directly connected to the battery so I can charge my things even with the bike off. I just need to be careful not to drain the battery. So let's go. Final part. and see if you can pick up the sunset on the beach. There we go, cap the rocket this way. So I was talking about the TRK and its off-road ability. Would I buy the the bike again? Absolutely. I really love it and I don't feel I need anything else from it from the bike, at least for the moment. Of course the upcoming TRK 800 would be lovely, but do I really need it? Mm, I don't think so. And I will only think about it only about buying one if it is really really good and has all those things I'm hoping for. These type of roads are also good for practice and training because I want to go to Morocco and I need some off-road capability for that. 
Of course, I'm not going Dakar style, 100% off-roading in Morocco. Uh, but uh, I will mostly do everything on tarmac. But some spots I want to visit are on off-road and even sandy places. That road over there should be a, an access to another cliff. I don't know about it. But this road here is in much better condition. Seems to be a lot of traffic in here. But about uh, the trip to Morocco, with this COVID situation, I had to postpone that trip for one, two years. I'm not sure I can do it in 2021. I'm hoping for, but maybe I have to stick to more close destinations. Another trip I have on my mind, and also with some friends of me, it's the Alps and Northern Italy, and maybe visiting Vanelli Museum in Pesaro, Italy. That would be so cool. It would be the, my longest trip yet, for sure. It's nice because in one trip only, you can visit the Pyrenees and the Alps. Because you have to cross the Pyrenees from uh, Spain to France. And then the, 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 the Riviera, it's lovely. Probably a lot of people there, but I don't know. It depends on COVID. After that, I would love to go to Scandinavia, mainly Norway. It's my dream trip, if possible, North Cape. But I definitely would love to spend one month in Norway. Camping. I love camping. And I miss camping. I didn't camp at all this in 2020. And I miss it. So guys, uh, we are approaching the tarmac road, the main road. Next time, thanks a lot for watching. Next time, we're gonna go to that secret beach oh hi do you want a lift I only have place for one though <laughs> and ladies first <laughs> thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video